through this neighborhood. Cause this is a, it's a nice scooter. It really is. It's powerful and stuff. Good ride. Nice shocks. You know, you don't feel any of the bumps. With the Cabo, you feel you feel the bumps a little bit. I mean, the Cabo got good shocks too, but this one is a little bit more, you know, smoother in regards to the shocks. And it's very powerful. That's what I had to see. That's what I had to see. Took it for a little spin, you know. Also, like I said, test out, testing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna post this video with, I did a video on how to load and unload your scooter, you know. These scooters are heavy, you know. And so I have a system that I use to load my scooters for transport. I'm gonna post that video and how I do that and I'm gonna post this video along with it, you know, just to give it some little, little time, you know, add some time to the video. Anyway, worked out just fine. I got me a little nice little ride. I was getting ready to go in, but let me go up again. Let me go up to the top. Something I haven't done yet. You know, they put a, they, they locked this gate. This gate, they fixed it, basically, to where now he can lock the gate, you know, which is good. You know, I'm cool. I'm cool with that as long as I can get in and out. That's it. I got it. Okay. Good deal. I ain't mad at that. I'm gonna run through the water. That water splashed all over me. I'm gonna have to, it's probably all over my back and everything when I went through that water. Good deal. I'll clean it up when I get back. I'm riding it too today, y'all. You know, my goal. I want to get, I want to get like 500, 365, that'll be a good number, 365 videos. But it's going to be a variety of things, you know, I also, I like to shoot guns. I have a lot of uh, weapons that I, I just, I just like them, you know what I mean? And I shoot them, you know, my wife does too. I took my wife, we went to, they got land in, in Oklahoma. We went out there one day with our weapons, you know, like the whole family, you know, we all had our weapons and stuff. And so my wife, I bought her a nine millimeter and I had a 45 with me. And she and my son had like a AR, 22 version of AR. And my brother-in-law, he had an AR. He had the real deal, AR-15. And so we shooting them, right? My wife, she she shoots her gun. We show her, show her how to shoot it. Now, boom, 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 she, boom. Oh yeah, I like this, she said. Then I gave her my gun, that 45. Bam, 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 bam. She said, ooh, I really like this one. Gave her that little 22 AR. Bam, 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 bam. She said, that, uh, don't have no use for this one. Then my brother-in-law gave her that AR-15. And she said, blah, 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 blah. This is my gun. This is the one I like. <laughs> so I got a one. I got a 223. A 224, rather, 224. It's a thousand yard gun, thousand yard weapon. You know what I'm saying? You hit a plate at a thousand yards with that weapon. I got the Creedmoor 
good friend at work helped me get that one. You know, that's like a $1,500 weapon, and you know, I got it for like 700 bucks. Thanks to uh, Steve. Steve, I'm gonna shout out to you, brother. Fellow, he used to work, we used to work together. And we had a good time, man. That guy was so funny. He's an avid fisherman, hunter, you know, all that, you know. So we had a lot of conversation, you know what I'm saying? I was a supervisor on shift and he worked in, in my office. His, my office and his office was in the same building. And so we could, I could be in my office and I could talk to him and he could talk to me, you know. And, we had a good time. It was great working with you, Steve. Anyway, he helped me get that 6.5 when I was getting ready to retire. So that's one of, another thing I'll be taking you guys out there. I'll be taking you out and letting you see me shoot some of my weapons, you know. When I go to Oklahoma, I'm gonna take a bunch of them with me. I got another friend there in Oklahoma with some land and I'm gonna take those weapons and sight them in. He's an ex-police officer, so, you know, and he's a weapons expert and all that. So, we'll take him to him, and we're going to sight them bad boys in. All right, y'all. Back. Successful. Got a nice little ride. I like my Yami. My Yumi, too. I keep calling it Yami. But I love my Yumi, too. Look at it. It's dirty. I'm going to have to clean it up. That's all right. All right, folks, catch you later. And. Okay, so. There's been a lot of talk about the difficulty in transporting the Cabo, which it, it is a heavy machine. So this is the way that I do mine. Okay. Let me lift this up. slip off that strap thing.